Here, I'm going to show you another way that you can protect your worksheet where you don't have to worry about entering passwords. Now, what I mean is, for instance, say that we want the benefits column to always be editable, but we don't want anything else in the worksheet to be able to be edited. And we don't want to have to enter a password to edit the benefits part. Now, a very simple way to do this is to I'll show you by example first right click one cell and click format cells. Now if you go to the protection tab you'll notice this locked and there is a box next to it that's always checked. Now by default it's checked so all of them are checked. If you uncheck this once click OK then go to tools protection protect sheet and here have select unlocked cells checked but do not allow locked cells to be selected so uncheck that select OK what you'll notice is that you cannot select any cells in the worksheet except for those that are unlocked and here you only have one so you can delete it, re-enter it now what I'm going to do here is unprotect the sheet and I'm going to select this entire range. Then right click, format cells, and uncheck the locked box. Now this entire column is unprotected or is unlocked. It's not locked. So I'm going to hit tools, protection, protect sheet, and now if I hit OK, it's going to allow me to edit any one of these cells. So, one good thing to note is that even though you can't even click on any of these cells, they're still going to be updated when you enter data into this cell. And that's because all of the cells under total compensation are formulas. So, also, if you wanted to make it so that you can select these cells but you can't edit them, go up to Tools, Protection, Unprotect Sheet, then Reprotect the Sheet. So just go Tools, Protection, Protect Sheet. And in this box, check the box next to Select Locked Cells. Click OK. Now what that's going to allow you to do is to select any cell. However, you cannot put any data in these cells. But here, you can delete them and add whatever you want. Now the reason is because these cells are unlocked. So that's how, if say you're making a form or anything like that that you need to send out to a large amount of people and you want them to fill in their own information, what you can do is have a form made out and have all of the cells locked except for the cells where you want people to enter their own data. So you unlock those specific cells, then protect the worksheet, and they're going to be able to enter, say, like their own benefits, whatever that is, and send it back to you. But they're not going to be able to change anything else in any of the other columns or rows. So that's the benefit of doing this. In addition, you can add a password to it if you want. Just unprotect the sheet, and then reprotect it by adding a password up here. And also note that in this box under here, if you select any of these, say, format cells, format columns, insert row, insert column, what that will allow you to do is it will allow anyone without this password to format a cell or a column or to insert a row or a column. There's a large list here, and if you check any of them, it allows you to do that while the worksheet is protected. I go into more depth on that subject in another tutorial. But the point of this one is just to show you that if you unlock a cell, you can edit it while all of the other cells are uneditable in a protected worksheet.